thank you for watching this Parallels Remote Application Server installation video. Today we'll be talking about our high availability load balancer. Let's get prepared for the installation. Our hub runs in different hypervisors such as Hyper-V, VirtualBox, VMware, KVM, and as well Azure and AWS. You can download the, me the media which has the hub pre-configured for installation from our Parallels download page. And you can download in three different formats, VMDK, OVA, and specifically for Hyper-V, VHD format. The minimal requirements for the installation is one CPU, 256 megabytes of RAM, and one network card. Okay, so let's get started. I have downloaded the help image uh, from parallels.com. Here's the file, and then I already uncompress it. And then from Parallels Desktop for Business, I will create a new VM from this particular image. So on from the, my download folder, I will copy or use this file. Will be the conversion process. I will call this help test. I will use the default settings at this stage. And right before the VM boots up, I will stop it and change to my network. So let me stop it. Right click, go to configuration. On hardware, on network, I will put on the same network that I have my other VMs. Here we can see that we have two processors and one gig of RAM. It's a little bit more from what our requirements is, but that should be okay. Let's start. This will be the first time the VM is starting. So we'll choose what kind of network configuration we want, either GHCP or static IP. In my case, I have a DHCP server. We can use that one. If you have a static IP that you would like to use, that's not a problem. So let's use DHCP. It's a version 4. We're configuring the packages. And let's enable automatic update. Okay, looks like we pick an IP address. And now we can go to the RAS console. From farm, site, and hub, we will enable the hub. Here we'll put the IP address that the hub has been assigned, the 13. We enable the gateway to work on port 80 and port 443. We'll add a new device. Here's the hub. We're adding it to our farm. Now, if the IP address of the virtual IP is different, you can create your own. But in this case, we're using the same because there's no virtual IP. We click on Apply. So let's test the connection with the client. We double click on the Parallels client. And let's create a new connection to remote application server. Server would be 192.168.30.13 or the virtual IP that you assign. I'll use the name help and the connection will be secured using gateway SSL mode. Let's put the domain, it's in case my, it's my lab. My password, click on save, and voila, here is the connection in the application list. Let's double click in WordPad. The client has been launched. And here's a WordPad. And the final test that you can do is use the same IP address in a browser. 
pretending to use the HTML5 client from an end user perspective. So instead of the server name here, I'll put my virtual IP one more time. I'll accept the certificate warning because it's a self signed certificate. Like I did before, in this case, right click, open HTML5. And now the session has been established. That covers pretty much the configuration of the hub using a virtual IP, which can be the same or different than what you assign, and we linked into a hub connecting to different gateways. Thank you for watching this video.